So how about another use for e-stem? So far, we've studied e-stem for pain relief. We've studied e-stem for muscle strengthening. And now let's look at e-stem for wound care. We can have some uh, fairly hideous sorts of wounds uh, come into the clinic, things that are tough to heal. And uh, electrical stimulation has been used for quite a long time and has some very good evidence that it can assist us in, those chronic, in that chronic wound care. So what kind of current are we going to use for this? Well, this is going to be a little bit different than the current we've been using because primarily we've been, we've been using Russian current and we've been using biphasic. And we're going to be using uh, primarily for this high volt galvanic as it goes by. And this is a monophasic current, which means that uh, it it is all on one side of the uh, x-axis and uh, as you can see here it has this uh, twin spike sort of look if you were to look at this on an oscilloscope and because we have uh, just one side of the axis and in this case it's showing it as a positive polarity well we get polar effects and by polar effects we have a positive electrode and a negative electrode in uh, all the other uh, uh, applications that we've seen so far, at least for the most part, uh, it doesn't make a difference which electrode we put where. Uh, but in this case it's going to. So how do we go about applying this? Well there's two ways. The first way is just uh, direct technique and as it shows here we just have an electrode that's put directly into the wound bed and this has just been taped down. Uh, and you can see that there is a second electrode uh, uh, just to the left of this uh, of the active electrode and uh, that's uh, typically called the dispersive electrode and usually it's of larger size and uh, so this first method is just direct and the electrodes are right in the wound bed. The second method is putting them around the wound or a peri wound and again we can see two different size electrodes. The smaller electrode you see to the right of the wound uh, would be the uh, active electrode and again the active electrode is usually the smaller of the two and then we use a second electrode as a dispersive and usually you want that to be larger in size. So how does this work? So we've got an electrical stimulator that's giving us a positive and uh, uh, negative or uh, anode and cathode, anode being the positive electrode and the cathode being the negative electrode and one of the methods that this is thought to work is that we get an attraction of specific cells to an injured area. And so when we put that electrical current on, uh, headed over towards the cathode, we start to get neutrophils, lymphocytes, and fibroblasts. And so these are the, the negative cathode or the negative electrode is typically used then uh, when we have an infected wound. If we go over to the other side, the anode is usually attracting macrophages. And so typically the anode or positive electrode is used in a wound that has necrosis but without the inflammation. So after a, a wound has been, uh, uh, has started to heal and gotten over the inflammatory process, we're going to use that positive electrode. Okay, a few other mechanisms uh, that, uh, that are thought to be at work here. Uh, one is that uh, it's been shown, ESTEM has been shown to enhance fibroblast, rep, uh, fibroblast replication and also increase DNA uh, synthesis. So we increase some of the metabolism that's going on uh, in the cell bed. And uh, a normal wound should have some electrical polarity and uh, we usually have a, a, a positive charge in relationship to the uh, skin around the wound bed. And what uh, tends to happen in chronic wounds is that we lose that uh, electrical polarity. So by putting uh, e-stem in uh, into a wound, it's thought to uh, reestablish that normal electrical polarity and uh, help with wound healing. And uh, also, the just the application of the uh, electrical uh, impulses also might have an antimicrobial uh, effect as well. So again, helping with that uh, inflamed wound or infected wound. So what parameters are we going to use? Uh, primarily, again, we're going to be using high volt galvanic, and sometimes you'll see that uh, high volt PC or pulse tile current. And again, that's that monophasic waveform. Uh, again, seen here with the, the traditional kind of twin spikes look for the high volt galvanic. We're going to use a duration that's down in the century range, that 40 to 100 microseconds. We're going to use a frequency from 60 to 125 
pulses per second. That could also be listed as hertz. We're going to turn this on continuously. There's no on off or a duty cycle here. You're going to turn it on to a nice comfortable sensation and then let that run for 45 to 60 minutes. And this can be done uh, daily. And again, the polarity, you're going to put the negative electrode if you've got a infected wound or if you're in the inflammatory phase. And you're going to use the uh, positive or anode um, electrode if you're in the proliferation or uh, in the clean wound phase. All right, so that's kind of uh, uh, E-STEM for wound care in a nutshell. Uh, refer to your text for more specifics and some uh, uh, very good uh, go-bys. And uh, if you have any questions, come by and see me.